Hey Cancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a mid-May reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and fourth house placements. I wanted to um, have some more stuff on my table today because I have I don't usually have my Wing & Bell Organites um, visible when I see my reading, but I just got this new one from Wing & Bell, uh, Cher, and it's Goddess Persephone, and it's just so perfect for uh, the Scorpio full moon that just happened. It's um, Goddess Persephone was... Uh, goddess of the underworld but also of spring and harvest so that's why it's like dark on the bottom and then light on the top but it's the underworld is all that Scorpio energy coming to the surface so I just thought it was perfect I'm gonna put a link um for her there's Cher and Michelle they're both at Wing and Bell and I'm gonna be featuring a lot of their organites on my regular videos so if you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to me and um, like, share, comment. I really appreciate all of the energy exchanges that happen on my channel. And let's go ahead and see what's going on for Cancers. Uh, Mid-May, I'm going to do um, just one animal magic card here to see the overall energies. Wow, you know, this is just so crazy because... I keep getting the same card. So I had Otter for like most of the cards, then I had Possum for Aries, and now we've got Possum for you guys. So um, the Possum is all about, um, he's, the Possum is very strategic about uh, playing dead to be left alone, okay? So this is about a uh, energy of you guys like retreating in mid-May here, maybe taking some quiet time, um, separating from the energies around you, needing to like, get things grounded in yourself, um, just needing that alone time to process things, okay? So the possum's all about retreating and honoring yourself and um, creating that sacred space for yourself to gather your thoughts and your emotions, okay? So let's get a couple more um, oracle cards here. Get into the present, stop dwelling in the past, and stop projecting into the future. And I feel like that's what you can do in this alone time. Maybe some meditation, maybe some, you know, ways of just connecting to the present moment and being with yourself and not, you know, projecting into the future, not thinking about the past, but just taking that time to honor exactly where you're at, okay? So I'm going to pull also from this dragon oracle to get another message. And then I'm going to actually pull from the... Um, so this is Briar and Blossom from Seven Realm Designs. I've been messing up on the, the name of her company. I'll put a link in my description box as well for that. And I'm going to use another one of her cards. But first I'm going to get a Dragon Oracle. Emerald Dragon brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimension blueprint. All right, so I feel like you guys are just going to get really spiritually in touch during mid-May. Um, you're going to really take this time to honor yourself and to create the foundation for abundance in the future, to align with, you know, what your mission is. So your fortune starts coming in a very effortless way and your thoughts start supporting positive and abundant things happening in your life. Okay, so that's really cool with that emerald dragon. And then I said, I'm just going to pull one from this... Um, uh, what is this called? Shoot, it's from Seven, Seven Realm Design. She has three decks. So she has the Inner Child, and this is uh, this other one. Wilderness Collide, Shadow and Light, and Venus Undone. All right, I actually don't know why, but I pulled two. So this is really beautiful. So this is about maybe taking time to do some shadow work and balancing your shadow and light. This is all about creating that balance, okay? This is, a, look at how beautiful this card is. This could also be something that came about from the Scorpio full moon. It's kind of like that moon energy of digging deep and finding like your under, underworld and then Venus undone. So this is like romantic endeavors. I'm going to read what it says for both of these, okay? All right. So for Venus undone, it says, Venus speaks to us through this card of intimacy and vulnerability. She reminds us that we are a force of pleasure and love connected to all that is within us. She asks us for she asks for us to open up and become unbound, free to pursue all that we wish to create in this life. If Venus is calling to you, now is the time to allow for intimacy, love, and openness to come to you. There is strength that comes from the blossoming of our vulnerability and power that comes in softening. Okay, so that's really beautiful. It's like you guys are opening up your heart chakra here as well. So I feel like you're taking this time to like, 
get in touch with yourself and then come out of it like really like evolved and ready for like a new beginning and i'm going to read what it says for shadow and light shadow and light speaks of the primordial powers of life yin and yang feminine and masculine chaos and creation all things hold both within them and every being functions best when these two forces operate out of balance. If you have pulled this card, then you are being called to connect with either one or both of these aspects. You may have disregarded one aspect for another, or you may feel as though it is out of your reach, but know that each one will have its place in your life and each one will have its own special beauty for you to unfold. All right, so a lot of beautiful things happening for you guys. Abundance, love, balance. I love it. All right, so we're going to go into your relationship dynamic, okay? Um, I'm using a couple decks from Angelic Revelation, one for four. They're tiny little decks. I'm going to also put her links as well. We have Flames of Healing and um, the Raw Deal. I'm like trying to pick up the whole pile. All right, so let's see what it has to say. I'm going to make six piles here for how you're, for how you're dealing with the connection and how... Uh, they're dealing with the connection, the person that you're dealing with. I'm going to use a couple decks from Bridget Rao. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel and a bunch of decks. And um, she is uh, she's an amazing tarot reader as well. So I'm going to use the Masculine Madness from her and um, Ocean of Emotion, okay? So this is going to be on the masculine side to see what's going on with them. And then ocean of emotion on your side. If you identify as the masculine, then you can identify with the masculine piles. But this um, reading is geared usually towards feminine energy. It doesn't have to be feminine gender, but just feminine energy. And then I'm going to use messages of love oracle from all things intuitive. Another awesome deck creator. And then obviously I have to get a tarot here. And I'm going to use Angelic Revelations, other deck, um, Naked Flame Healing Messages 144 for a message from, actually two messages from the masculine. Okay, and what was the other one I said? Tarot I need. I'm going to use Universal Fantasy Tarot here. Okay, and then I'm done. Sorry, it took me a minute. All right, so I need one more card actually here. No, I don't. Okay. So where are you guys at mentally, cancers? What's your energy mentally? I love the sweetness of your soul and the taste of your kisses. Sweet. Okay. Wait, the timing is not quite right. And two of pentacles, trying to decide what to do because you're very drawn to this person, but you know the timing isn't right. And they want to live with you. So it's either that they want to live with you or that they want to take this to the next level and you're very like into this person but you don't know if the timing is right you're trying to decide between two things you're trying to decide do i take this relationship forward or what should i do here they have the sun leo energy you could be dealing with a leo nobody understands the darkness inside of me inner demons so i feel like you're the sun that helps them illuminate things when they feel really like tormented and in this dark space they see you in like a very bright light they see you as someone that could dissolve a lot of their heaviness here um and you may you bring out like the inner child in them let go of blame and anger this is on their side so they're trying to illuminate their dark side they're trying to let go of negative things their inner demons they're trying to be more bright more happy and i feel like you bring that out in them okay temperance this is all about balance this is your emotional space you guys are really trying to find that balance i love it this is also a very sunny type card, but this Sagittarius energy, um, and this is your an emotional in your emotion space. So you guys are really trying to create emotional balance here. You don't want to go to either extreme. You want things to be in moderation. You might want to slow things down if they're going too fast. They are a karmic twin. Okay. It's interesting because she made this pile and she said that a karmic twin actually means it is a twin, but it's like you have a lot of karma with them. Your light illuminates my mind and soul, inspired. So you definitely feel like you guys both um, help each other out. You both lighten things up for each other. Children, that's what I said, inner child. Children are important to this partnership. I feel like you guys bring out the inner child in each other. That's so beautiful. All right, so um, there's a lot of karma here. You guys could have past life karma. Um, I feel like that usually is like that six of cups energy where someone brings out your inner child, but it's also a past life love, okay? 
Wow. In their emotional space, they have the Emperor. We have so many major Arcanas here. So now we have Aries. So we've got all fire signs. So you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, which is interesting. Cancer and fire sign doesn't really go together, but you could also have fire in your chart. Think only of the happy times with your divine partner. This is really what this person is trying to do is be lighter of heart and think more of the joyous times because I feel like maybe you guys have had things up and down and they're really trying to be positive. Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. This is on their side of emotion. So they're really, um, with the emperor taking responsibility, really trying to emotionally and spiritually grow up and really be positive and not bring in all this karmic stuff, this inner demons, this anger, this resentment. They're really trying to approach this with unconditional love. I said the word tortured before, and now I said my mind is torturing me with reminders of you everywhere I go, tortured. So this person has a lot of like attachment to you, has a lot of like need of you, and you might feel like, you know, um, you're not quite ready, even though you know that this person brings you a lot of joy, you feel like it could cause an imbalance with you. So where are you at in your soul, the world? You want something to complete. You're kind of at the end of a cycle of your own things. Maybe you've learned a lot and you want to change like your behavior, or your mindset in some way. Friendship, this friendship is um, leaning towards more, leading to more. But I feel like this is also saying you definitely want a friendship with this person, but you don't know how far you want it to go. If anything, you just want to be able to build like that solid bond with them, okay? And then we've got depth. I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So you definitely feel like it's a deep bond. I do feel like this is like an inner child past life connection, okay? Um, it's deep, but you just don't want it to be too heavy. That's what I get is the feeling. So in their soul space, we have three of pentacles. They want to put in the energy to collaborate with you, to work with you, to build things with you, okay? I feel that you disrespected me and betrayed me. I'm a loyal person and I want to feel that I could trust you completely. Please acknowledge the hurt you have caused me as this will help me to heal. This, They still have a little bit of blame and anger. This is what they're saying, okay? My life has felt so fucking pointless without you and I have had suicidal thoughts. I know that I need to learn how to love myself and forgive myself, but I am struggling to get past my mistakes. So they do a lot of this blame and anger because it's easier to do it than focus on their own stuff. But I also feel like this person puts a lot of um, pressure on you and that could be why you guys are taking a step back. Like they're saying they're suicidal without you. So you guys feel very overwhelmed. Like you don't want that pressure of their mental health and they're like, tortured and they need you really badly so that push pull energy can be kind of like pushing you away okay i know that we are meant to be and i'm committed to our love commitment so it seems like this is this person is really like intensely feeling towards you and um let's just get one last message from this all things intuitive in the shadows and see what your last message you want to say to them is where are you what are you coming from I can still see you standing there. So something happened like this um, memory is forever imprinted in your mind. And I feel like it's just really heavy. Like I wondered how far this would go. I feel like you feel a little bit hesitant. I actually want to pull one last card for a shadow from you guys. What What's preventing you guys from wanting to um, move forward in this connection? Okay. I get the feeling that you feel a lot of pressure though doubt you just have doubt you just aren't sure that's what it comes down to so explore that and see if it's your own doubt or if it's this person and honor that whatever that is take that time in mid-may to yourself to figure it out all right cancers that's your reading i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye